Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know, I'm still Angie. This is still 4F Beauty. You still have the best seat in the house. And you are most welcome. Right, uh, in this film, you will have seen from the thumbnail and the title, and if you've read any of it, the description, I am going to discuss the brands that I wanted to try last year in 2021, and tell you whether I did or not. And I'm going to tell you which brands I want to try in 2022. So. If that sounds interesting to you, you know what to do. Grab a drink. I keep showing this in the hope they're going to spot it and sponsor me because I drink a lot of iced coffee and I treat myself to a tray this once a month because it's lush. And it's easily portable when you're walking with a stick because you don't slop it out of your glass. Cause you Right, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, get comfy, here we go. Right, I'm just going to shove you across that way a bit. See, so it always comes back a fraction. Right, I'm going to put over there the list of what I am going to be reading to you. Assuming, of course, I can find the blasted thing in the book. Okay, that's not it. Okay, that's not it. Okay, there we go. So I've got lots of tabs at the top of my... for different things that I need to do. Collabs, tags, things to remember. Collabs to set up. Right. So, 2021, the brands that I wanted to try were Menagerie Cosmetics, Open's Eye, Nabla, Unicorn, Sydney Grace and 5050. Um, I've got films on Menagerie, Open's Eye, uh, Sydney Grace and 5050 because I purchased palettes from them and try them out and if I remember I will link them below in the description box for you. Now Nabla and Unicorn Cosmetics I had purchased palettes for those companies but they either didn't arrive until this year or they arrived at the time when my pain was flaring up and I just I, I physically couldn't see her in film. Um, so technically I bought them last year but I still haven't used them because whenever I use a palette for the first time I do it on camera. You then get my totally raw review because if I've tried it a few times, if I'd had issues with pigmentation, for example, I would have tried different primers, different techniques, different brushes um, to get the best out of the palette. But I know a lot of people will try a palette and if it doesn't go right first time, they don't touch it again because they're like, mm. Mm, didn't, didn't look good, didn't look good. So I kind of want you to see if I struggle with a palette too. Just so you can see that, you know, it's, it's not always the case that if it doesn't go right first time, it won't ever go right. Sometimes it can be something as simple as changing a brush from a synthetic to a natural head or vice versa. So, um, Nabla and Unicorn obviously I've carried across to this year's list. 
and to that list I have added Lois Cosmetics, Glamlight Cosmetics and Dragon Beauty. Although I'm I was dubious about adding Dragon Beauty because I'm really not particularly happy with um, the way the owner behaves. But I have been asked by quite a few people to review some of her palettes. So I will make an exception this time and just just get the one palette. Um, Nabla, I've a lot of these I buy second hand from Depop because obviously being disabled I'm on a very tight income. So in a lot of cases I'll have more than one palette because someone's selling them as a pair and doesn't want to sell them separately. So I've got two Nabla palettes. I've actually got three Unicorn Cosmetics palettes. Um, I bought the Totem palette first, which is the bright one. And then um, I picked up Wicked because it just the colour's just really cool to me. And then they released Angel as well and I'm like, I've got to get it because it's a companion to, to Wicked. And I'd seen a few people that had used... I, I try to avoid watching um, other people using palettes like that because I don't want their view and their experience to taint my own or, you know, affect, influence my own thoughts. Um, but I'd, I'd clicked into some. It was, it was on an auto play, and I was getting myself a drink in the kitchen. Came back in, sat down, and was watching it before I even realised which brand it was. So that's why I ended up buying Wicked. Um, so I've got three Unicorn Cosmetics. Haven't got any Lois Cosmetics yet. And last time I checked, they were actually on pause because they were moving to a larger premises. So. That's fine. I've got um, a Glaminatrix palette, which you would have seen from my big haul video. And actually, I'm wearing the Glaminatrix palette today. Uh, that film will be coming out very shortly. And I have, in between filming that and filming this, pre-ordered another palette from them. So looking forward to that arriving. That's not being released until July though. I missed the May pre-order. Um, so it's, it's going to be the July pre-order. And I picked up from Depop secondhand a, a Dragon Beauty palette to try. So those are the choices for this year. Now obviously I've already filmed a glam light one so that's going to be shown first. Of the others that I have palettes for, so Nabla, Unicorn and Dragon, which order would you like to see me use them in? Because I would find that very helpful indeed. Just in terms of prioritising what to watch first, because I've got... I've got so many to film with, um, it, it's almost too many, you know. So it would be super, super helpful if you could let me know out of Nabla, Unicorn and Dragon which ones you would like to see first and which ones you are least interested in. I'm not saying Lois yet because I haven't bought any of their things yet. <coughs> right. Super short one from me today, how about that then? But you didn't think that would ever happen coming from me. I know, I know, a short film. What on earth is going on? Um, basically what's going on is I'm in a lot of pain. I've already filmed this look, which took a while. Pain is making me hot. So I'm trying to film short films while I've got makeup on to take advantage of the fact that I have makeup on. 
but so I don't have to sit here for too long. Right, let's slide you back across again. Hello, I like seeing myself more. More in the middle. Confuses me being off to one side. Very, very confusing. Right, okay, my darlings. Uh, if you are one of my regular viewers, please double check you're still subscribed. YouTube are unsubscribing people at a rate of knots. And obviously, where I'm not uploading very often, it's not going to be very easy for you to spot whether you've been unsubscribed or not. While you're checking that, and this applies to all channels that you're following, please, please double check your notification status as well, because there is a very good chance that it will have been knocked from all to personalised. I'm getting that, a lot of other people are getting that, and I'm getting it personally for, for channels that I follow that I have notifications on, and when it goes back to personalised, I don't get anything at all. Sometimes I don't get anything at all when it's on all either, so I don't know what YouTube are up to at the moment. But they're really, uh, they're really not up for helping smaller creators, that is for sure. So, yeah, please double check that. Um, and like I said, let me know in the comments below which order you want to see the palettes. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. You normally get much more out of me. You normally get at least a 45 minute film. So this is just a, a soupçon, an entree, an hors d'oeuvre, would you say? A little vol of vol with prawn and a little spill of parsley. No. Vol of vol with cream cheese and smoked salmon and freshly squeezed lime juice and cracked black pepper. Oh, I wish I had any of those things in the house right now. Well, I've got the pepper and I've got the lime. But I haven't got the volivants of cream cheese or smoked salmon, which is rather disappointing because now my taste buds really want that. And yep, this is something you'll find with me. Uh, my fibro, I have fibro brain, which basically means it, it runs off on a tangent, it'll disappear for half an hour. Sometimes it comes back before the end of the video, not always, uh, but it. it, it, uh, it it makes me forget words, it makes me substitute the wrong words, it makes me forget how to pronounce words. It's great fun. But don't make a drinking game out of it, you'd be sloshed. Unless of course you're doing shots of squash and juice. Right, if you are new here and you think you can bear listening to me waffle, it'd be awesome if you'd like to join the 4F family, we are the nicest family on the internet. It's super easy to do. You hit that red subscribe button and you turn it grey. Then you ring my bell. Ring my bell. And choose all notifications in the hub that you do. They will actually pull their finger out and send you some. In the meantime, if you're intrigued and you want to see more. But if you want to see some more. So I mean I've now gone into Bucks Fizz and Eurovision. <sighs> I've got a lot of other films you can watch. I've got challenges, collaborations, tags, product reviews, product demos, makeup tutorials. I even read you my favourite poem in my arm. So you're bound to find something to interest you. So, if you're looking for a little bit of me time, grab your coffee and your custard cream or your cup of tea and your tam tam biscuit. Get comfy, pick a playlist, put your feet up and just indulge. Give yourself a bit of chill out time. Listen to me waffle on about all kinds of everything and nothing very much at all. Right. That's just about enough from me for one day. So, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will well, see you next time. Bye for now.